My name is Julie Dawson, and I am in seventh and eighth grade English and Literature teacher at St. Joseph's School in Madison, Tennessee. Today, I've developed a problem based learning English unit that I developed um, for my eighth graders for this upcoming year, and I'd like to share that with you today. So, the title of this unit is The Different Choice of Topics. So, I'm having the students work collaboratively in groups to um, come up with their own new business that they'd like to open in that. And they are addressing the problem of um, tourism, boosting tourism and visitors, and um, people to just come to Madison, come to their city that um, their school is in. And so with this, they do research, uh, they research their they research the logistics of business, but they also choose an actual existing business that is in the surrounding area or in the city of Nashville um, that they think um, is a really good business to base off, to base their new business off. Um, and so that's what they'll use to create their new business, um, and they'll kind of use that as a basis. So the basics of this project, basic information, um, like I said, it's for an eighth grade English class, and it centers on research and expository for informational writing. Um, that is the big standard for English that I'm trying to make with this unit. It is a three to four week unit. Um, you can do it in three weeks, but based on um, how much time you have in class time or how much um, like to work with the students, you can make it four weeks in the book. Like I said, it is created for um, eighth graders at St. Joseph's School in Madison, Tennessee, and it is something that I'd like to try this next school year. So like I said, this centers on research and expository or informational writing. So it's teaching kids the important standards. Um, first, it teach, teaches them how to research. So the kids look at what is a reliable source, um, what information should I use in my paper and my presentation, um, and then they also learn how to outline their research. Next, they learn how to write an expository piece. So they learn how to write an informational text. They learn what that looks like and how they can do it on their own. And then, um, of course, in English class, they are working on applying correct uses of both grammar and mechanics, um, but also developing their own writing, developing stylistic writing and varying word choice. And that those are the two biggest things, um, writing-wise, that an English-wise unit focuses on. And then finally, the kids are learning how and working on writing to a specific audience. So the standards for this unit um, are based on the um, Archdiocese of Natural Academic Standards, um, and that's what St. Joseph uses, and those standards are very similar to the four standards. The first one, 815, is that the students obviously have an opportunity to write an expository piece, uh, a research piece, including source cards, note taking outline, what side of the page, in the line format, everything that goes along with that. The students, the next one, 8060, the students will actually be writing a business letter um, and they'll learn the correct format and the professional language that is needed for an um, actual business letter that they'll write to their existing business that they choose to research. 806F is exposition writing. 816 is um, has to do with research. They're achieving appropriate secondary and primary sources for their paper and their presentation. 802 is a utilize effective organization and transition in their writings, which is something that throughout the unit um, I will focus on as a teacher um, as they write. 803 is improving sentence fluency through, or I'm sorry, 804 is increasing the complexity of word choice to enhance the quality of writing. Um, and 810 is obviously utilizing the drafting and revision process as the students go through the writing process. So the 
objectives of this unit, um, students will be able to work collaboratively to create a new business or a restaurant or um, some kind of business for their city. They will be able to research, analyze, synthesize, and cite proper sources in their major and their publication. They will be able to write a research, informational, expository piece in an organized manner. Organization is a huge um, at the eight grade level. They will write, um, they will be able to write using the correct English grammar and mechanics. They will be able to use an LA format correctly in their writing. They will be able to present professionally and effectively to a specific audience. And they will be able to produce a professional and effective media presentation. So the students will be producing um, a prezi for their final, um, one of their final assessments. And along with that, they will be producing a commercial um, video for their business. There are two major assessments for this unit. The first is a final research um, informational paper. So this paper will explain their chosen business and why it needs to be um, opened in Madison. Their final presentation is the second assessment, and that will happen on the culminating day of the unit, which is the Business and Tourism Conference that will take place in the classroom. And through their presentation, they will provide information about the new business that they will be opening in Madison and why it will be opened and why it will be successful. Um, and then finally, with that, they have their present presentation along with their video commercial for their new business. Driving question is really important for problem-based learning. Um, it pretty much is the theme of the unit, and it um, is the question that students ultimately um, are trying to answer at the end of the unit. And so the driving question for this project is, what new business or restaurant should be open in the city of Madison to attract more people? This um, project, or this unit, has many local implications. Obviously, we are looking at the city of Madison, um, and that is the city that the school is in. Um, and so the students will be researching the city and the current businesses that are in the area. Um, and then the students will research actual, real, existing businesses in the surrounding area, specifically in Nashville, to look at those businesses that are boosting tourism um, for the big city. And then they're going to write a letter to that business that they um, that they choose to research and base their own new business off of. So like I said, this unit addresses the city of Madison, its population, its business, and its school. So for the presentation part of the event, the students will act as business leaders. Um, and they will, like I said, present at the Business and Tourism Conference. And that will happen on the culminating day of the unit. Um, the classroom will act as the conference. They'll come in, um, and um, their fellow students will act as fellow business leaders. So that's their audience. Their audience is, um, their audience is fellow business leaders and city council. So just to give a quick rundown of the lessons I've um, kind of outlined for this unit. The first uh, lesson is when I'll just simply introduce expository and informational writing and what that looks like for the students and what that is. So I'll have the students work in groups to define the characteristics of expository writing, informational writing. Um, they'll, put, they'll then put the writing process steps in order, and then those are often what we would discuss as a class, and um, I will instruct the students directly after that. Next is the initiating activity for the unit, um, and this is when the students will receive an invitation to the Business and Tourism Conference, and along with that invitation, they will receive their project outline, which basically describes what they'll be doing, and that invitation will look like this. Um, 
So as you can see, it looks just like a business letter that you would get from a city council member. We have the Madison City Council um, board at the top, and it's in um, business letter format. So the students will go ahead and see what um, a real business letter looks like, and they'll use that as their template um, when they actually do write their business letter, their business letter later in. So after they receive their invitation, they'll discuss what is tourism and how do you this in so that city leaders preach tourism history. Next is topic and brainstorm day. So students will get together and they'll discuss the roles of each group member. They will discuss and outline what makes a successful business. They will be working with you, the docs, so not only will they be able to work together, um, I will also be able to see um, their progress and what their ideas are through Google Docs. And then they'll also be given the outline for their new business, which basically um, outlines everything that they need to establish in the end um, for their new business. Next, the students will learn how to research. And so they will receive direct instruction on reliable sources. And then after that, the students will actually begin researching their actual business that they choose to base their new business off of. Um, and they'll be using an outline as well. The fifth lesson is business letter day. So the students will learn how to properly write a business letter. And then they'll each write their own business letter to the group's chosen Um, number six is more of an English lesson. It is transition work and hard choice in writing. So the students will practice um, using varied vocabulary for the thesaurus activity, um, but the students will also learn specific informational language and business language that they'll need to know for their presentation in the paper. Next, the students will learn about the online course. Instead of um, just direct instruction for that, I will have them play a game where they will point out the correct and incorrect format of MLA in the paper. Next, um, I have work days and teacher conferences. And the number of these dates can vary from teacher to teacher. But basically, the students are given class time to work on a project um, within their group. And this allows me to come around and to talk with each group and to have teacher conferences one day and just see how they're doing. Number nine is our culminating day. So it's presentation day. It is business and tourism conference day. So the students come in. Um, they are acting as if they are at the conference. We are all business leaders. We're all city council members. And that's when they'll get up. They'll present their, um, their new business that they'll be opening in Madison. And then they'll also show their um, video commercial for the new business. And then finally, the last day is reflection day. With PDL, it is really important that students and teachers have time to reflect on the project and on the unit. Um, so the students will journal and reflect on how the project went, what they want to do better, what they learned, what they did well. Um, and then they'll reflect on the collaboration. So that's basically it. Um, I have never actually um, done a project for a problem-based learning unit in a classroom, but I feel that it's really important for students to be able to apply their skills and learn their skills in a real-world context, and problem-based learning does that for them, um, or provides that for them. So I'm really excited to see how this unit will go this upcoming school year with the eighth grades. Um, and I would love to let you all know how it goes. And 